El CEO de NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, durante el CES, nos dio una visión clara sobre cuál es el próximo paso para la inteligencia artificial. No se trata de una inteligencia artificial general, sino más bien de una inteligencia artificial física. En este gráfico que tenemos aquí podemos ver que el primer paso es la inteligencia artificial generativa. Luego, por supuesto, tenemos la inteligencia artificial general, que probablemente se desarrolle en gran medida este año. Y finalmente, en la cima, encontramos la inteligencia artificial física, que esencialmente es una IA integrada en el mundo físico, como los coches autónomos y la robótica general. Presta atención porque este vídeo explicará por qué esto es absolutamente increíble y representa la próxima gran evolución en la inteligencia artificial. The next frontier of AI is physical AI. Model performance is directly related to data availability, but physical world data is costly to capture, curate, and label. NVIDIA Cosmos is a world foundation model development platform to advance physical AI. It includes auto-regressive world foundation models, diffusion-based world foundation models, advanced tokenizers, and an NVIDIA CUDA, an AI-accelerated data pipeline. Cosmos models ingest text, image, or video prompts and generate virtual world states as videos. Cosmos generations prioritize the unique requirements of AV and robotics use cases, like real-world environments, lighting, and object permanence. Developers use NVIDIA Omniverse to build physics-based, geospatially accurate scenarios. Then output Omniverse renders into Cosmos, which generates photoreal, physically based synthetic data. Whether diverse objects or environments, conditions like weather or time of day or edge case scenarios. Developers use Cosmos to generate worlds for reinforcement learning AI feedback to improve policy models or to test and validate model performance. Even across multi-sensor views, Cosmos can generate tokens in real time, bringing the power of foresight and multiverse simulation to AI models, generating every possible future to help the model select the right path. Working with the world's developer ecosystem, NVIDIA is helping advance the next wave of physical AI. A continuación, Jensen Huang comenta la necesidad de crear un modelo base para el mundo, algo similar a los modelos fundamentales que usamos en los grandes modelos de lenguaje. Estos permiten interactuar con las máquinas mediante el lenguaje natural. De la misma forma, necesitaremos algo parecido para la robótica, y esto es precisamente lo que están intentando desarrollar con su modelo Cosmos. Ok, let's talk about physical AI. Speaking of Linux, let's talk about physical AI. So, physical AI. Imagine, imagine, whereas your large language model, you give it your context, your prompt on the left, and it generates tokens one at a time to produce the output. That's basically how it works. The amazing thing is this model in the middle is quite large, has billions of parameters. The context length is incredibly large because you might decide to load in a PDF. In my case, I might load in several PDFs before I ask it a question. Those PDFs are turned into tokens. The attention, the basic attention characteristic of a transformer has every single token find its relationship and relevance against every other token. So you could have hundreds of thousands of tokens and the computational load increases quadratically And it does this, the, all of the parameters, all of the input sequence, processes it through every single layer of the transformer, and it produces one token. That's the reason why we needed Blackwell. And then the next token is produced when the current token is done. It puts the current token into the input sequence and takes that whole thing and generates the next token. It does it one at a time. This is the transformer model. It's the reason why it is so, so incredibly effective computationally demanding. What if, instead of PDFs, 
It's your surrounding. And what if, instead of the prompt, a question, it's a request. Go over there and pick up that, you know, that box and bring it back. And instead of what is produced in tokens as text, it produces action tokens. Well, that I just described is a very sensible thing for the future of robotics. And the technology is right around the corner. But what we need to do is we need to create the effective, effectively the world model of, you know, as opposed to GPT, which is a language model. And this world model has to understand the language of the world. It has to understand physical dynamics, things like gravity and friction and inertia. It has to understand geometric and spatial relationships. It has to understand cause and effect. If you drop something, it falls to the ground. If you, you know, poke at it, it tips over. It has to understand object permanence. If you roll a ball over the kitchen counter, when it goes off the other side, the ball didn't leave into another quantum universe that's still there. And so all of these types of understanding, as intuitive understanding that we know, that most models today have a very hard time with. Una de las razones por las que la inteligencia artificial física no ha alcanzado el nivel de los grandes modelos de lenguaje es simplemente la falta de datos. Modelos como ChatGPT han sido entrenados con billones de fragmentos de texto provenientes de todo el mundo. Si queremos desarrollar robots humanoides funcionales, necesitamos recopilar datos equivalentes de algún lugar. El proyecto Isaac de NVIDIA es básicamente el marco que están utilizando para escalar sus esfuerzos de recopilación de datos. Con futuras iteraciones, este proceso será más eficiente, lo que facilitará la recolección de más datos y permitirá que los robots humanoides aumenten rápidamente sus capacidades. Todos sabemos lo rápido que se mueve NVIDIA, y por eso soy tan optimista con respecto a la robótica en los próximos años. Es probable que avance mucho más rápido de lo que muchos predicen. Esto es algo que deberías prestar atención, ya que, al igual que la IA, tendrá un impacto significativo. Quizás no tan pronto como los agentes de IA este año o al próximo, pero definitivamente en un futuro cercano, comenzando por asumir roles en fábricas y automatizar. NVIDIA Isaac Group, NVIDIA Isaac Group. This is our platform to provide technology platform, technology elements to the robotics industry to accelerate the development of general robotics. And, um, well... Si te preguntas cómo este tipo de inteligencia artificial va a revolucionar las fábricas y el país, basta con observar este ejemplo que han proporcionado. Ya están maximizando la eficiencia en una fábrica al utilizar simulaciones y diversos procesos funcionando en segundo plano. Esto demuestra lo transformadora que será la tecnología de la IA una vez que se integre en distintos sectores. to test and optimize robotic fleets. First, Kion's warehouse management solution assigns tasks to the industrial AI brains in the digital twin, such as moving
autónoma y que planea expandirse a cada vez más ciudades en los próximos años. Según quienes ya lo han utilizado Waymo, describen la experiencia como la mejor que han tenido en términos de conducción. Tranquila, sin interacción humana, sin música no deseada. Uh, the largest uh, EV company in the world, JLR, has got a really cool car coming. Mercedes has a fleet of cars coming with NVIDIA starting, with this, starting this year going to production. And I'm super, super pleased to announce that today Toyota and NVIDIA are going to partner together to create their next generation AVs. Just so many, so many cool companies, uh, Lucid and Rivian and Xiaomi and, of course, uh, Volvo, just so many different companies. Wabi is uh, building uh, self-driving trucks. Aurora, uh, we announced this week also that Aurora is going to use NVIDIA to build self-driving trucks. Autonomous, every, 100 million cars built each year, a, a billion cars, vehicles on the road all over the world, a trillion miles that are driven around the world each year. That's all going to be either highly autonomous or, you know, fully autonomous coming up. And so this is going to be a very, lar very large industry. I predict that this will likely be the first multi-trillion dollar robotics industry. This, indus this business for us, um, notice in just, just a few uh, of these cars that are starting to ramp into the world, uh, our business is already $4 billion, and this year probably on a run rate of about $5 billion. So really significant business already. This is going to be very large. Well, today we're announcing that our next generation processor for the car, our next generation computer for the car is called Thor. I have one right here. Hang on a second. Okay, this is Thor. This is Thor. This is, this is a robotics computer. This is a robotics computer. It takes sensors and just a madness amount of sensor information. Process it. You know, umpteen cameras, high resolution, radars, LIDARs, they're all coming into this chip. And this chip has to process all that sensor, turn them into tokens, put them into a transformer, and predict the next path. And this AV computer is now in full production. Thor is 20 times the processing capability of our last generation Orin, which is really the standard of autonomous vehicles today. And so this is just really quite, quite incredible. Thor is in full production. This robotics processor, by the way, also goes into a full robot. And so it could be an AMR, it could be a, a, a human or robot, uh, it could be the brain, it could be the uh, manipulator. Uh, this, ro this processor basically is a universal robotics computer. The second part of our drive system that I'm incredibly proud of is the dedication to safety. Drive OS, I'm pleased to announce, is now the first software-defined programmable AI computer that has been certified up to ASOL-D, which is the highest standard of functional safety for automobiles. The only and the highest. And so I'm really, really proud of this. ASOL-D, ISO 26262. It is um, the work of some 15,000 engineering years. This is just extraordinary work. And as a result of that, CUDA is now a functional, safe computer. And so if you're building a robot, NVIDIA CUDA, yeah. Ahora pasamos a los gemelos digitales de NVIDIA 
que representan una herramienta clave para escalar los esfuerzos de recopilación de datos y hacer que estos vehículos sean mucho más precisos y seguros. Es realmente impresionante si consideramos que en el futuro es probable que la IA haya sido entrenada con millones e incluso miles de millones de escenarios y situaciones que probablemente nunca encontraríamos en el mundo real. La IA habrá aprendido de 10.000 ejemplos por cada situación, lo que significa que será, con diferencia, mucho mejor que el conductor promedio. Esto resulta increíble cuando lo piensas detenidamente. The autonomous vehicle revolution is here. Building autonomous vehicles, like all robots, requires three computers. NVIDIA DGX to train AI models, Omniverse to test drive and generate synthetic data, and drive AGX, a supercomputer in the car. Building safe autonomous vehicles means addressing edge scenarios, but real world data is limited. So synthetic data is essential for training. The Autonomous Vehicle Data Factory, powered by NVIDIA Omniverse, AI models, and Cosmos, generates synthetic driving scenarios that enhance training data by orders of magnitude. First, OmniMap fuses map and geospatial data to construct drivable 3D environments. Driving scenario variations can be generated from replay drive logs or AI traffic generators. Next, a neural reconstruction engine uses autonomous vehicle sensor logs to create high fidelity 4D simulation environments. It replays previous drives in 3D and generates scenario variations to amplify training data. Finally, Edify 3DS automatically searches through existing asset libraries or generates new assets to create sim-ready scenes. The Omniverse scenarios are used to condition Cosmos to generate massive amounts of photorealistic data, reducing the sim-to-real gap. And with text prompts, generate near-infinite variations of the driving scenario. With Cosmos Nemotron Video Search, the massively scaled synthetic dataset, combined with recorded drives, can be curated to train models. NVIDIA's AI Data Factory scales hundreds of drives into billions of effective miles, setting the standard for safe and advanced autonomous driving. Isn't that incredible? We take, take thousands of drives and turn them into billions of miles. We are going to have mountains of training data for autonomous vehicles. Of course, we still need actual cars on the road. Of course, we will continuously collect data for as long as we shall live. However, synthetic data generation using this multiverse, physically based, physically grounded capability so that we generate data for training AIs that are physically grounded and accurate and or plausible so that we could have an enormous amount of data to train with. The AV industry is here. Uh, this is an in incredibly exciting time. Super, super, super uh, uh, excited about the next several years. I think